Can I recover WhatsApp messages if the contact has blocked me on iPhone? Hey there! Welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing an interesting question. Can you recover WhatsApp messages if the contact has blocked you on an iPhone? If you've ever been in a situation where you've been blocked by someone on WhatsApp and you're wondering if there's a way to retrieve those blocked messages, you've come to the right place. Let's dive in and find out the answer. Understanding Message Blocking Before we explore whether it's possible to recover blocked WhatsApp messages, let's first understand what message blocking means. When someone blocks you on WhatsApp, it essentially means that they have restricted your access to communicate with them via the app. As a result, any messages you send them won't be delivered, and you won't be able to see their online status or profile picture. Message Recovery Possibilities Now, let's address the main question at hand. Can you recover WhatsApp messages if the contact has blocked you on an iPhone? The short answer is no. When you're blocked by a contact on WhatsApp, the messages you send them are not stored on their device or the WhatsApp servers. This means that even if the contact unblocks you later on, those previously blocked messages won't magically reappear. Respect privacy and boundaries. It's important to remember that blocking is a privacy feature designed to give users control over who they interact with on WhatsApp. If someone has blocked you, it's generally a good idea to respect their decision and not try to circumvent the block to recover messages. Attempting to do so could be seen as intrusive and disrespectful, potentially damaging your relationship further. To wrap things up, if you've been blocked by a contact on WhatsApp, unfortunately, there is no built-in method to recover those blocked messages on an iPhone. Blocking is a privacy feature that ensures your messages are not delivered to the blocked contact. It's important to respect the boundaries and privacy of others. Instead of focusing on recovering blocked messages, it's often more productive to communicate openly and address any concerns or misunderstandings directly with the person involved. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more informative content. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, take care and happy messaging!